Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of the Las Vegas Advisor Weekly Update with Anthony and Andrew. Today is Wednesday, September 7th. We are back on track. It is hot. Still hot. Still hot. It's ridiculous. Damn hot. <laughs> You know, we've been like on a uh, a ten day heat warning. I know, you know, it's hot everywhere. It's hot all over the United States, it's especially in the Southwest. But you know, for September, we're at uh, one ten, one twelve. Yeah. Ten days in a row. I guess we're down to one oh eight today. Yeah. And the way the, the heat kind of works, it heats up throughout the day. Like yeah. It, it might it gets, start off in the eighties or nineties. It's but. strange. It gets hotter and hotter. Like I mean, it gets the hottest around four thirty or five. That's right. It peaks. But, but it's it's going to start going down this weekend, and now we're into we're going to get into September, October. So. Those of you who have got a trip planned in the next, you know, month, month and a half, this is the best time in, in, in Vegas. Yeah. Well, and speaking of going out at night, I know where you went last night uh, to the closing of the Wild Wild West Truck Plaza. Yeah, we didn't even um, we didn't even talk about this last week because it wasn't announced until just a few days ago that all of a sudden Station Casinos was closing down the Wild Wild West. Right. And, um, you know, it closed last night at, mid- at midnight. And as I always try to do, whenever there's a closing, you know, you like to go to that last day because usually so many people show up, but it just wasn't like that here. So it was pretty dead last night. Yeah. Well, I mean, we got there. I went there with a buddy and we got there at uh, two hours before closing and outside it looked like it had already closed. We literally wow. thought it had been. And it wasn't much different once we got inside. Um, now, I was told by a couple of people that. It was real busy earlier, a few hours earlier, that a lot of people had come by. But it just didn't have the same kind of bon voyage that, you know, a, a casino usually gets in Vegas when it closes after many years. Right. So it wasn't like a big bash. It wasn't a big blowout. It wasn't selling everything off the walls or anything like that. No. And, you know, again, usually people want to go and make a last play and, you know, that sort of thing. This, you know, this casino, the history of it goes way back. This oh. was the King 8 for a long time, the King 8 truck, truck stop. Okay. And as long as I've been in Vegas, you know, there are other truck stop casinos around the country and up in northern Nevada and all. But the longest, as long as I've been in Vegas, there's always been just the King 8 slash Wild Wild West and another one called the Alamo, okay. which is uh, Alamo Truck Stop, which is over by uh, Silverton, mm-hmm. way, way south of the, of the Strip. Well, yeah, this one's not that far. This one's like uh, kind of behind the New York, New York off of Tropicana. Yeah, it's right there. And I mean, you know, the reason for the closing is station casinos, they're going to knock it down, mm. right? Like, they, like they're doing their other ones, like they're doing with, the, uh, with Texas Station. Okay. And the Fiesta. They're yeah. going to knock it down, and they say they're going to build a, if not a mega resort, just a, a major resort there. And this will finally be this strip presence that they've you know, always wanted, even though it's not quite on the strip. It's, it's back, it's back a, you know, a half mile. Right, but it's kind of like similar to where the Rio is located uh, in comparison to kinda, the strip on Flamingo. Even, I'd say closer. You yeah. know, I mean, so it was for them, I, I would say more like Oyo. Okay. You know, you look at Oyo and go, well, they're not on the strip. Well, they might as well be. Yeah. And Wild yeah. Wild West is, you know, kind of in the same category. Now, is the truck stop still going to be open? Because that's where I go for gas. If you remember, we did a video on that about a year ago because that's the best place in Vegas uh, to get gas. Often. Often it is. Oftentimes, yeah. And, um, you know, they didn't really say, but I think so. I think the truck stop will probably, you know, stay open. But, you know, there are some memories of uh, the King 8. Um, they had a great, they had a great coffee shop. You know, okay. we, we talk a lot about Ellis Island coffee shop being one of the really good ones and, you know, maybe Emerald Island. Well, they had one called the Gambler's Grill mm-hmm. and it was absolutely terrific. For a while they had, uh, at the bar, they had a 49 cent menu. Hey, there you go. Yeah, Vegas, you know, baby. Yeah. These were some good times, uh, yeah. you know, at, at the King 8. I actually, <laughs> it's the only time in my life I was, I was with a girl on a date uh-huh. who, who she just was a video poker fiend Uh and she had back-to-back quads yeah i've never seen that there you go all the years of me playing i've never seen anybody hit back-to-back quads yeah that's pretty awesome yeah so i so i went up there and i tried to do it like on the same machine (laughs) i did like the stupid thing that people do like oh boy let's do the last you know the last tango right yeah and i got uh i got the three tens and i I hit it and it didn't happen so oh no all right well we'll show a picture of that yeah we can put it up (laughs) okay uh and then uh moving on the uh mirage has announced that they're going to remain open until december 10th well, they didn't really announce it. They don't announce much of anything over there. Mm. But they sent out a press release today. Okay. We just got today, and it was all about what they're going to do during the National Finals Rodeo. Oh, and okay. And it was all, you know, that runs through the 10th. So we now know for sure that the Mirage will be open at least until the 10th of December. Yep. And we don't know anything else about it. We don't know what they're going to do with the volcano. We don't know what they're going to do with, you know, the show per se. We talked about that a couple of uh, weeks ago. Yep. And um, they're just very closed-lipped over there. But for, for a while, everybody thought it was going to close at the beginning of December. But obviously, it's, it's not. It will be going into the middle of December at least. 
All right. The Mirage. If you're in town, check out the Mirage because we don't know what's happening with it. Right. All right, guys. This Saturday, it's happening at Allegiant Stadium. Uh, Imagine Dragons is performing. Right. Uh, homegrown. You know, yeah. it's, uh, there's, there's, there have been several bands from Vegas that have done good over the years, but two recent ones, one being The Killers yep. and the other being Imagine Dragons. You know, these are born and bred Vegas guys. Um, so the reason we're telling you about this, not so much because of the concert. If you're going to go, you're going to go, right? Yeah. I think we got a link to, I think we got a link to buying tickets somewhere in the uh, yeah, Ticketmaster in, in the description. Right, yeah. in the description. But um, they came out with a new video that people might want to look at. It's called Sharks. Yeah. And just all you got to do is Google, you know, Imagine Dragon Sharks video. And it is the coolest video when you're talking about you want to get a look at Vegas. And they go all through different parts of Vegas. I mean, they show Allegiant Stadium. Yep. They show O, the production show O, Cirque du Soleil. The Bellagio. They show the, they show the Bellagio Fountains. Yep. They have a couple of nods there to movies like Ocean's 13 or 12 or 11, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Casino where Sharon Stone, right, throws Flips the chips the in chips. the air. Yeah. Yeah, right. And it is, first of all, it's a really catchy song. Yeah. I mean, it's terrific. And we would show it if we could. We couldn't clear permissions on this before the video. Mm-hmm. We're still trying to get it. If we, if we get them, we'll put them in a future yeah, video. Yeah, you wrote a letter. Yeah, we wrote, a, we wrote an email and said, hey, can we show a little bit of this? Yeah, it's because this, this is a great video. Uh, if you haven't seen what Vegas looks like lately, this is it. Yeah, it's a good one. And it's a real snappy, it's a real clever video. Again, it's called Sharks, Imagine Dragons. Look it up. You'll be glad you did. It's it's very, very cool video. And in sports news, the Las Vegas Aces have made the finals. Finals of the WNBA That's championship, right. and they will play either Connecticut or Chicago, who are you know deciding their uh, semifinal I guess today, and uh, we don't know what the odds are yet, but the uh, Aces will definitely be favored. All right, they are, they are right now at circa they're minus two hundred, meaning you've got to lay two hundred to win a hundred that they will win no matter who they play. So it's kind of interesting the way Vegas gets behind. You know, you would have never heard about the Aces if they weren't in the championship. Right. You know, Vegas gets behind winners. And, you know, that's why they love the Golden Knights. The Golden Knights came, and all of a sudden, you know, they were bigger than anything. The Raiders yeah. are still big because it's NFL, but not as big as the Knights. And right now, it's, it's all aces. Mm-hmm. So it's cool. We'll see how they do. All right, guys. We'll keep you posted. Las Vegas aces. All right. And further to that, the NFL starts tomorrow, Thursday. Yeah, first Thursday night game. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, we'll be, we'll be covering it, you mm-hmm. know, uh, all season long. Uh, the AGA, the American Gaming Association, came out with a number. He said 46.6 million Americans will place a bet this football season. All right. Is that more than ever before or just more recorded than ever before? More than ever before. It's uh, 18% of the U.S. population. Wow. So that's, you know, how big it is since the expansion of sports betting. It's going to be, who's it going to be? The Bills are two and a half favorites over the Rams, and the total is 52. Okay. All right, there you have it. Yeah, you know, Anthony, it really seems like these laws are getting passed all the time, and they're really uh, integrating sports betting into American culture. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, you know, people have been doing it underground for years and years. Mm -hmm. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. Try making a ten dollar bet. Yeah. You know, I I wrote this years ago, twenty years ago for USA Today. I said, you want your wife or girlfriend to watch a game with you, make a ten dollar bet for her and see what happens. (laughs) (laughs) That's a great piece of advice. (laughs) True that. And this leads us into the Circa football contest and the possible overlays. Uh, How do do we stand, Anthony? It looks like it's going to happen. All right. I mean, they got they got three days to go. Okay. The deadline to uh, to sign up for both Survivor and Million is Saturday at two p.m. Okay, so So, that's right around the corner. Yep. Three days to go. Survivor, both of these need 6,000. Survivor has 4,505. Okay. All right, so they're still 1,500 away. And Million has 3,297. Nice. So we're I looking mean, like an overlay. They're almost 3,000 away. They're not going to get there. So, yeah, it's going to be an overlay, as we've discussed. Mm-hmm. This is where, you know, they're giving out more than they're taking in, mm-hmm. which is a very strong, fundamental way to, to, play, to start a contest. Okay. You've got, theoretically, you have an edge in this game. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I kind of dropped the ball on this. We talked about people who can't play it because they're not here. They have to use proxy services. We said we were going to talk about proxies, and I just kind of dropped the ball. I didn't get into researching them and all, but for any of you that still want to do it with three days to go, here's two that I would recommend. One is called Kelly in Vegas. Okay. You just go to kellyinvegas.com. I've known Kelly for a while. She's very reliable. It's like 250 for the for the season. They'll put your picks in for you. Oh, great. And the other one is footballcontest.com, a guy named Maddie over there. So both of them I know are, are very reputable and uh, honest. So check them out if you've still got time you want to do it. Uh, these circuit contests, they're, they're worth getting into. Yeah, worth getting into, but it's hard. you got to basically pick one right team 
every week, uh, pick a winner every week without repeating. In the survivor, yeah, yeah. in the survivor. Well, sure, it's going to be hard to win no matter what. I mean, even if they, they only end up with 5,000 instead of 6,000, you're playing against 5,000 people. Right. So, yeah, it's going to be very difficult, and it's winner take all. You know, you've got to go perfect to win this thing. Mm -hmm. So, sure, it's very difficult, but you're starting from, you know, on, on, on higher ground, yeah. you know, with the overlay. All right. Uh, so right around the corner on September 13th, we have the anniversary of the killing of Tupac Shakur here in Las Vegas, Anthony. Right. Um, we are going to, uh, we, you know, we did the book, The Killing of Tupac Shakur, mm -hmm. and um, we're going to do a, a special on this book. We're going to be selling it for uh, $12.70. That includes postage. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's about 20 bucks when you include postage, so it's a pretty good discount. But this is a book that, you know, we're known for our gambling books yep. and also our Vegas books. But he, you know, was killed here in Vegas. And this was a book that really put our publishing company on a map. It was one of the books that did it. Okay. That when he was killed, um, there was a reporter, Kathy Scott from the Las Vegas Sun, who was right there on the scene. She was the beat reporter mm -hmm. for crime. And she was one of the first people there. And Kathy contacted us immediately and said, I want to write a book, like, now. And we're like, everyone's going to write a book about Tupac. You know, like, you got to write it fast. And we did. We put that book together in about two months. Wow. And we were the first book out on Tupac. And it's a good book. I mean, it covers all the, you know, Tupac's career and what happened because Kathy was on the, really on the inside there. And when we, we came out with it, they held it up on an MTV. Mm -hmm. And it was like our first natural exposure for a yeah. book that we had done. And uh, the best part of it is the, the inside, the, the photo spread mm -hmm. is amazing. And I mean, I think we got a couple of them up on the screen here. But one with that, that we didn't put up is we've got, that book has the only autopsy photo of Tupac deceased mm -hmm. on the gurney, right? And this, you know, there's this, you know, urban legend that Tupac's still alive and everything else. I mean, this is a picture of Tupac deceased. And it's the only book that's got it. Mm -hmm. And we how'd you get the picture? Kathy, she took the photo. She snapped the photo. I, she essentially she didn't break any laws, but she wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah. And she did it and s basically smuggled it out. And we put it in the book. We were allowed. It was legal. And um, you know, bookstores were mad at us because they said people were coming in, ripping out that photo and leaving the book. So anyway, we're selling. You know, the photos in the book, and we're selling it uh, special. The special, basically, we start promoting it Tuesday, but it's available right now. If you go to LasVegasAdvisor.com, go to our store. You can buy it for this on this deal right now. All right. And check out that, that book. And uh, I still listen to Tupac all the time. And uh, I got to smoke weed with his brother once in L.A. That's amazing. Yeah. It's for pretty real? cool. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Uh, he, Tupac had a big effect on my life as an artist. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, definitely a book that I have to read. What did you do? Just You hooked up with his brother? Yeah, well, we, we went out. Uh, to I was at a party, and then there were a bunch of people smoking in a, in a circle, and I stepped in, and one of the guys' name was Mopreem Shakur, and we, we started talking. <laughs> they didn't throw and, you out uh, and go, hey, white guy, you're not, you're not invited. No, no, it was a total cool, it was a cool party. It was a rooftop party in L.A. Oh, that's so, cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. All right, nice. <laughs> Something new every day, Andrew. That's right. It's a wild life. Sometimes <laughs> I forgot that that even happened until, uh, until a little while ago. Moving on to Jackpot of the Week. We got one from Brian L. And he says, hey, guys, I've been enjoying the even pay machines over at the Palms ever since you mentioned them in your review. Today went great. I held ace queen suited hoping for the Miracle Royal, but I'll take four aces any day of the week. Can't wait until my brother and sister-in-law stay here in mid-September. Shout out to Aaron and Sarah. Well, that's cool. And, yeah. sh and shout outs are definitely allowed. Yeah, definitely. Aaron and Sarah, there you go. Uh, I, I like the way people use different terminology. He says the even pay machines. Uh -huh. So I assume he's talking about the 100% 100% return. So yeah. he's talking about break even, even pay. Um, you know, now this was another one. You know, we've said before, we don't always go for the big hits. This was a $400 win. Mm -hmm. You know, not bad, but we really wanted to talk about kind of what's going on at the Palms. Because they're jiggling things around over there with their, with their video poker. Mm -hmm. um, recently, they took out all of their 9-6 jacks or better, mm -hmm. which was a 99.54% you know, a, a game, a real good one. They've got the, these even pays, as he calls them, which, are, which is 10-7 double bonus, 100.17, mm -hmm. and 10-6 double double bonus, 100.07. Okay. Now, they're only in a few machines, and you said that those machines aren't in the same place they were. Is that right? Well, I didn't see them. I went to the Palms this week, and I did not see them because they were stationed. Even you can see in the picture that you can see the reflections of the doors by the west side uh, parking lot. 
uh, right. in, in the screen. But when I walked in through the West Side parking lot, those 100% games were no longer there. Okay. So they may still be in the casino. I just didn't see them, and they're definitely not where they used to be. I think there's, I think they're still in the casino, based mm-hmm. on you know what I've seen and heard about it. They may not be in the same place. Now those mach- no, those machines don't, uh, they don't pay club points, mm-hmm. so you don't get slot points when you play those machines. So now the best game at the Palms that get club points is the um, 8-5 bonus poker. And that's a 99.17%. Now, that's a good game. Okay. It's over 99%. It's all over the casino. You can find it everywhere. But it looks to me like the Palms is squeezing down a little bit. A little bit. That yeah. sounds like a little bit of a squeeze down. So okay. we'll see what happens there. You know, I'll say one more thing, too. You know, we, we like the Palms. You oh. know, especially oh, I under, love the Palms. Under the new management. I mean, we like them way better than I liked them last time. You know, they're now operated by San Manuel, mm-hmm. the um, Native American tribe mm-hmm. out of California. And uh, I like that group, but it looks like they're getting tighter. And I went and, you know, typically when a new place opens up, you like to go play and, you know, give them a, give them a test drive. Yeah. And see what you get in terms of mail and everything else. And I put 20000 through the machine, meaning I played 20000 through. Yep. And I won maybe $100 at the end of that. Oh, wow. And there yeah, you go. Yeah, for a lot of play, that was a pretty good result. But I didn't get anything. Uh-huh. They didn't send me any mail. They didn't send me anything. No free comps, no room nights. No nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, okay. I've heard of others who have played and have gotten things, so it might be. Uh, yeah, I'm one of them. Oh, okay. I've, I've put through a few thousand, and I've gotten uh, a few comp nights already. At the Palms? At the Palms. Okay. So, I mean, you know, it might be a name thing. They might have just looked at and seen my name and said, we don't want to comp that guy, you know, perhaps, because they know who I am. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, but I'm just, I'm just reporting that, you know, 20,000 through and nothing. If that changes, I'll let you. I'll let everybody know. So anyway, good. Uh, you know, uh, congratulations to Brian uh, on your uh, on your races on uh, on double bonus. Yeah, and also I think I want to say to Brian, you know, it's so cool that you're waiting for uh, your brother and sister in law to come out because I always like playing with my friends. I always think it's a fun uh, social gaming together. Really, most people just put their head down and play. <laughs> Not me. You know, High fiving people. And, you know. Cool. <laughs> and that's it for this week. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Uh, did the shipping go out? Did we ship our, our prizes? Or? The prizes are in shipping, and they're getting ready to go. Okay. And so uh, uh, that worked out pretty well. That it was, worked out great. Yeah. Somebody somebody uh, in the comments I saw, and then they were gone. Maybe somebody erased it. I don't know. He said, thanks for all those junky prizes you gave away. Oh, and I didn't see that one. Yeah, and I was going to go on and say, oh, we gave away the car last week. Sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do the best we can. We, you know, we publish books. We gave away books, games, things. And chicken uh, fingers. And chicken fingers. Chicken fingers are pretty good. And, uh, you know, we do the best we can. We'll do it again. Yeah. We'll do another one. Uh, Someday. Upcoming. <laughs> <laughs> to be deep. Uh, is that it? That's it. That's it for this week. Thank you. We'll see you next week.